What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be rocking out with an absolute banger of an off meta team that features Life Orb Dialga and Grisha's Orb Garatina. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a second, stop everything that you're doing right now, pause the video, and scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. So shout out to everybody who's a subscriber to the Jeans channel. But like I said, we're rocking out with an off meta team today. And this team's looking a lot of fun. Hopefully we can pick up some wins on that rank ladder and get rolling for you guys. But let's get started here with the team preview. Start off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Defiant Thunders. Love this Pokemon because Intimidate is so prominent in this meta right now. You got Pokemon like Landorus and Instant Aurora that are pretty much on every single team. So Defiant Thunders is going to be working wonders for this team. He's got a Soul Fest as his item, and then he's rocking out with a fairly normal moveset of Wild Charge, Fly, Brick Break, and Crunch, all different moves of different typings to allow this Pokemon to Dynamax and get a lot of value out of it. Right next to him is going to be our Choice Band Landers. You guys heard that right. Choice Band Landers. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon. Deal some big damage with him. He has Intimidate, obviously, as its ability. Then we're rocking EQ, Stone Edge, Fly, and Superpower, a great moveset for any Choice Band Pokemon. Middle left is going to be our first restricted mon, and this is going to be our life orb Pokemon as well. It's going to be Dialga over here. It has telepathy as its ability, so you know, ally Pokemon such as Landers cannot hit him with EQs or anything. We got the life orb, like I already said, as our item, and then we got Wartime, Flash Cannon, both for our stab moves, and then we got two coverage moves of Ice Beam and Earth Power. Not too many protects on this team so far. Not too many protects, but like I said, we're going to grab some wins for you guys. Right next to him is going to be my first time showcasing this restricted mod in this series, and it's going to be Garatina. It's got Levitate as its ability, alongside with the Grisha Sword to actually make its ghost moves do more damage. We got Poltergeist, Shadow Force, Shadow Sneak for first turn priority, and last but not least, we got Protect on him. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Bronzong. Bronzong is going to help us out on Trick Room over here. It's very slow, works wonders in Trick Room, and can put Pokemon to sleep left and right. We got Levitate alongside with the Wide Lens, so you know Hypnosis can land. A lot more frequently then we got body press iron defense instead of defense and speed swap to actually give one of our faster pokemon its speed in case trick room is a factor so really like this pokemon hopefully we get to show them off we might not be able to though in case we don't burst any trick room teams final pokemon on the squad is going to be our speed control tornadoes over here we got prankster and the focus Ash, best ability and best item in my opinion for any tornadoes we have the icy one for speed control the year for defensive drops tailwind for speed control and then last but not least we're rolling out a protect on this tornadoes Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, I don't even have to tell you guys. The rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Life Orb Dialga and Garisha's Orb Garatina team. We're coming off a perfect record with our Yvelta and Palkia team in the last video, so let's keep that hot streak rolling and look to grab ourselves a win here in bound number one. We're going up against a Kai Ogre and Groudon team with Torkoal to also set the drought. That's a little weird. I think he's kind of just there for Trick Room. Then he also has Indeedee, Lilgant, which has Chlorophyll, and Weavile for Speed Control and Fake Outs. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play? I mean, Garatina could be good, but Weavile does work onto it. Um, hmm. Could go into you. I mean, Thunders isn't bad here. Thunders is not too shabby. I kind of do like Thunders for Dynamax with that Assault Vest as well. Ground moves can't hit him. I mean, we could dump on Kyogre with him. So, yeah, I think I'm going to leave him alongside with you. I really do like that a lot. And then we could bring, uh, you know, Choice Band in the back end. And then Dialka? Or do we bring Garatina? It's a tough call. It's a tough call. I'm thinking more so Dialga here. But Dialga gets ripped on by Torkoal and Groudon. So, I, I, I'm kind of leaning more towards Garatina. You know, you guys seen plenty of Dialga already. Let's, let's rip in with Garatina. Let's rip in with Garatina. Even though he's only rocking ghost moves, he's got that first turn priority with Shadow Sneak. I'm digging it. I'm loving it. I just feel like I have to bring Lunders, or Thunders here. I just feel like he does work. I just feel like he does work. And if he leads Kyogre, or if I have a chance to use like a Max Lightning on Kyogre, I have to maybe watch out for that uh, switch into the, uh, to the ground. Because he can dodge an easy electric. So we'll see how this one plays. We shall see how this one plays out here. I think I feel like the Logan combo could definitely come out here and do some work onto us, but we'll see what he goes into. He's gonna end up leading Kyogre and Indeedee. Okay, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. So we can prank so we can kind of get after it that way. Um, I think Tailwind's gonna have to be your play. And I, I feel like the switching's gonna happen, or he might just Dynamax and go into a. Uh, he might just Dynamax and go into a follow me shot. This could definitely happen. It could definitely happen. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. And then I can start leering. Could indeed start the early. He's gonna get that special defense boost. That's totally fine. We are physical attacking with our thunder, so I'm with that all day. I got a dynamax here, right? And you know what? I'm gonna make the read of a uh I'm gonna make a read of a either swap out or a dynamax and follow me. So 
I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play off of that. I'm gonna take out this Indeedee first. I'm not trying to deal with it. Not trying to deal with this Indeedee. So if I can get rid of it, I kind of just go full blast onto this uh, Kyogre slot and try to get rid of it. So I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We are also rocking the Soul Vest, which is wonderful because he has a special attacker. Let Kyogre out on the field. So if he has a Dynamax in it, trying to go for a water shot, we should be able to eat it up just fine. And plus, we're going to take speed all day. So let's see what he does from here. See you on Dynamax? He goes for follow me. So there's the follow me. Good thing I, I went into the darkness. And he's probably going for the water spout, right? He's probably going for the water spout. The tail one's going to poke here. I'm with it all day. I am with it all day, baby. We're going to go for the smash darkness. I'm thinking it should be able to take him out. It is coverage, but we're hoping. Get him out of here? No, we do not. Okay, we do not take him out. That's mm, not too fine. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> it's okay, I guess. We do get the special defense drop, so maybe, just maybe, Icy Wind can take it out. We'll see. Water Spout does come through here. Gonna trigger our Focus Ash all day and do not, not half to our, not half to our boy. So I'm with that all day. Uh, what do we do from here? Max Lightning can come out here. I am digging the Lightning. I am digging the Lightning into the uh, Icy Wind. Hoping Icy Wind can actually take out this uh I'm so hoping this Icy Wind can uh take out this uh this Indeedee. If it can, that could be so clutch because we can be sitting in such a good position. Let's make it happen. Make it happen. Yo, Icy Wind, take him out. I don't think it is going to. It is coverage, but you know, we can always hope. We can always hope. Take him out, please. Do it to him. Do it to him. Ah! So close. So close. So he's gonna be able to get off another water spout. Uh my boy is gonna be able to eat that up. So he could get off one more shot with him. Let's just see who he brings out from here. We do have Tailwind for a couple more turns. He's going to go again for another Water Spout, which is totally fine. And this time, he might swap into the ground on after this, unless he pulls him over to the, uh, the light side. We shall see. We shall see. He goes for the Water Spout. Again, my boy's going to be able to eat that up, but Tornado just goes down. Okay. Okay. I could bring out Garatina here. Wouldn't be bad. I could bring out... We have to save her. Actually, our choice guy could be really good here. So we have two Pokemon that can dodge EQs all day, so... I'm with it. I'm with it. Hopefully, he throws out a physical attacker. Go ahead. Throw out a physical attacker. Throw out a physical attacker. Show it to me, baby. Let my intimidate do some work. Weavile. Okay, I love it. But that is still kind of tough. That is definitely kind of tough. That is definitely. I don't like that one bit. We do have speed. I do like how we're, where our speed's sitting here. I do like where our speed's sitting here. I could just drop this lightning and go into the EQ. But, dude, this thing's just going to be able to... Ooh, this thing's going to be able to do some work onto me. EQ's definitely in play, though. I have to go for an airstream here, right? I mean, how many turns left in Tailwind? Two? We have two turns left in Tailwind. That could be good. Yeah, we do. Okay, I like the two turns left in Tailwind. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go straight for the EQ here. You might be able to just dump on my landers, which we don't like. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to choice to an EQ. I think that's just our best bet. We should have speed with the Tailwind, so which is lovely. And he's going to swap into the ground. So we saw that coming all day. I should have saw that coming all day. I should have saw that coming all day and dropped the airstream or something along those lines. I knew it too. I knew it too. I've been saying it the whole match, but since he didn't swap like the first two turns, I guess that's because he had the Indian. I was just like not looking for it. But he's going to end up. Oh, Dynamax and Weavile drop hail. Okay. I'm cool with that. Hopefully he doesn't take out my uh, Thunderous. That could be really good for us. He does not take out my Thunderous. He's got to be dropping hail, but still, we get off a nice big old EQ here. Again, we have Tailwind, so we have a speed. Unless Weavile has speeds, because Weavile is really, really fast. Really, really fast for no reason. The lightning's gonna come through here. It is going to get blocked. EQ's gonna fly through here. It's not gonna affect our uh, thunders, and we're gonna get off a nice little, nice little chunk of damage on both of them. Beautiful, beautiful. So hopefully, uh, there it is. Hail Go after thunders, please. He does. Okay, yo, dude, I'm with that all day. I'm with that all day. So I can see a max guard definitely flying through here. I could definitely see a max guard coming through here. Definitely, definitely see a max guard coming through here. But what is scary right now is going to be that what's called in the back end. That Kyogre in the back. Because one more EQ can take out this uh, Weavile. So I'm hoping it doesn't protect. Because if it protects, then Tailwind will end and it can outspeed us. We can kind of just start getting rid of this Groudon. That's going to be my play. I'm just going to Shadow Sneak in the Groudon. And then drop another EQ. 100% my play. Super scary though. Super, super scary. We do have Shadow Force. Uh, hmm. Look out. We could do that. We could do this. But nah, 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 we gotta go. We gotta go shadow sneak into this Groudon and just EQ drop. I'm with it all day. We do have Levitate on a Garatina, so hopefully he doesn't max guard with Weavile. If he doesn't, we should be fine. He protects his Groudon. If he doesn't guard his Weavile, I think we're sitting really good in this, in this, in this match. He does not, yo. EQ should be able to take it out. I like it. I like it a lot. EQ comes through here. I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. Levitate's gonna bounce, 
and we're gonna take out Weavile. This is such a good battle right here. Such a good battle. Weavile is dead, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Weavile is out of the match. All right. So now we're sitting in a spot where it's kind of tough because you know, Kyogre can dump on my Landers in one shot, no problem. He can dump on him, no problem. But maybe, just maybe, Landers is faster in this situation. Unless it's Choice Scarf. Unless it's Choice Scarf. Tailwind does Peter out here. EQ can take out Groudon, no problem. And we have to start chipping off damage onto the what's called. Onto the Kyogre. Just in case he wants to go into Water Spouts, I have to go into a straight Shadow Sneak. Right? Gotta be my play. Got to be my play. The Drizzle comes out here, so, you know, he has that advantage. This one's gonna be so close, y'all. I really want this win. I really want this win. But let me check my boy's speed real quick. I know Garatina's pretty much on the slower side a little bit, right? How fast are you? Yeah, see, a little bit slower, but... Ooh, yo, Lando might be fastest on the field. Which could be huge for us. So, I'm gonna Shadow Sneak. I'm gonna drop an EQ. If Lando's fastest, this could be so good for us. Come on, Lando, go first. Go first, Lando. I need you here. Shadow Seek's gonna poke here. We just have to chip off some damage just in case Water Spout's coming out here. And he's gonna go before me. He's gonna drop an Ice Beam. Smart play by him. Can we eat that? No shot. No shot. Four times super effective. Mmm. Tough news for us. Tough news for us. We do not outspeed him. Rock Slide's gonna fly through here. Uh, we can be able to eat that up all day, right? We're pretty bulky. We are indeed pretty bulky. Pretty bulky. God dang, dude. That dang Kyogre. I think that might be a choice Kyogre. I don't know. Shadow Force could come out here. Shadow Force could be good. He does have an item, so, you know, we're gonna go into a Poltergeist here. We're gonna go into a lovely little Poltergeist. He, he, dude, this thing's gotta be choice, right? He's gotta be choice. That's gotta be why he swapped. He hits me hard with that. What are we gonna go into from here? Rock Slide's gonna miss. That's huge. That is huge. Poltergeist can come in here. We're attacking it by his choice scarf. Can we take this thing out? This could be a huge KO for us. Hey, KO this thing. Get rid of it. Oh, let's go, Garatina. Let's go, Garatina. Yo, can this thing take it out with a with a shadow sneak? We have to go into a shadow sneak, right? We might be able to. Oh, yo, this one's gonna be so close. It's gonna be so close. Let's go into the shadow sneak here. Come on, yo. Yo, is Garatina gonna clutch up? Is Garatina gonna clutch up? KO here. One more should be able to take it out. Rock Slide. <gasps> Dude, he misses again. Oh my lord. I think we were, we were able to eat up another Rock Slide, though. Shadow Seek come out. Yo, no way. Yo, finish this thing off. Get it out of my game. Get it out of here. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Garantina clutches up in the back end, taking out both Groudon and Kyogre. The Pokey Gods were on our side there in battle number one. Dodged two Rock Sides in the end. Not one, but two, which was really, really helpful. Even though maybe, I know for a fact, we would have been able to, able to eat up one Rock Slide. Two would have been pushing. It would have definitely been very, very close. Somebody let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think I would have been able to eat up two Rock Sides. But other than that, yo, we'll take that win all day. All we need to do is really dodge one of them. So I'm with it. I'm with it. We're hopping into our second battle here. Let's go back to back. Going up against a Zacian and Shadow Rider Calyrex team with the Incineroar. Rotom Wash, who you don't really see too often anymore. Then he has Thunderous and, uh, what is that Pokemon? Regilecki. So he has three electric Pokemon. Two of them who cannot be hit by ground. Okay. Um, I'm liking Thunderous here. I am really liking Thunderous. Or not Thunderous. Uh, Tornadus with Landers. I do like that lead a lot. Do a lot of work on a lot of them. He does have Fake Out, which Fake Out could definitely scare me. But in that case, we can just protect you and then get the uh, get the Tailwind up. But I'm going to go into Dialga, and then I'm, I'm liking Garatina here. I just really like Garatina. Actually, we could lead Garatina. I do like that. I do dig me some good old Garatina. I'm not even going to lead him. I'm going to stick with my lead. Even though I think he is going to go into Incineroar, I think my landers could still be fine because all these Pokemon who are out with my team cannot be get, get hit by EQ. Every single Pokemon on the team actually can't get hit by EQ. You got flying typings from Tornadus and Thunderous. Um, Garatina has Levitate. Bronzong has Levitate. And Diablo has Telepathy. So none of them can get hit by my, my EQs, which is absolutely amazing. He's going to go into... Okay, cool. He does not go into Incineroar. And we could uh, go choice to a Stone Edge if we really want to. Could definitely choice to a Stone Edge. I am kind of scared of that, uh, that Rotom here. Oh, that thing could be Defiant. Please do not be Defiant. Cool, it's prankster. Cool, it's prankster. Okay, so Tailwind is an uh, absolute must here. And I think just going into Stone is going to be a reply. I could, I could Dynamax him, but I think the Rotom Wash might get a Dynamax. And if he wants to set the Geyser that way, that's fine. We can go, like, he can deal some big damage on me. But there's this. He might end up uh, plotting, which could be scary. So we have Speed. Scary Face is going to roll through here, which is a great move by him. Into my Landers, right? Yeah, so he's going to slow me down and hopefully misses his Hydro Pump. Actually, we still might be faster. Yeah, Tailwind makes us still faster. 
Built big old stone edge coming in hot. Get on out my face, Thunderous. Get on out my face, Thunderous. We get that crit. Stone edge has a higher chance of critting, so it's not like RNG was super on her side. He's gonna go for that Will O Wisp. That's totally fine. He's gonna throw a burn on me. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. Don't, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Considering we took out his support mon. Solid turn for us. Solid turn for us. And then we have special attackers in the back. This is our only physical attack. So. I'm with that. I'm with that. Now, if we could just use Thunders to chip off some damage for the rest of the match, I'll dig it all day. We're going to go into this next mod, which is going to be Calyrex. And in this case, I'm just going to Icy Wind. Where do I Leer? Where do I Leer? Ah, yo, Icy Wind's going to be required. We need to slow that thing down. Even through Tailwind, I think it's still fly. I think it's still fly. So I'm just going to double down into it. We could see a Dynamax, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. You don't really see Calyrex's Dynamax too much, but in this situation, I'm thinking he ab he actually might. He has a Rotom more on the support side with the Will-O-Wisp and all that, so I thought maybe he would set up a Nasty Pot, but he didn't, so I th I do think the Calyrex might get the Dynamax. I think that's what he's thinking about. And he does not. He's going to straight up Alley Switch. Okay. I'm cool with that. Icy Wind's going to go on both slots. He can waste a turn with uh, Rotom, and I'm like I said, I'm just going to slowly chip damage and just Icy Wind across. Icy Wind's going to poke. Nice, lovely damage out there. And nice little speed drop. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Stone Edge isn't really going to do much to that, uh, that Rotom, but it is what it is. He's going to drop an Astral Barrage. And I'm surprised that thing outspeeds me. We have Tailwind, which cancels out Scary Face, and I think it's minus one. We miss our Stone Edge. God dang, dude. What is up with the Stone Edges, man? Stone Edge is doing me dirty. We're going to go into yet another Icy Wind here. Have to, right? We have to. And we're just going to drop a big old Stone Edge into the slot. I'll take it. I'll take it. Because after this Icy Wind, uh, Lander should be faster than that thing now. He's going to end up... Pro Ooh, protecting Rotom. Protecting Rotom. We like it a lot. We like it a lot. Because we're doubling down into the Calvary slot. How much damage... Ooh, if we can get a crit, this burn will not matter. And Stone Edge has a high chance of critting. This could be a big time crit because I think it could pick up the KO. Another speed drop on him. He's going to pick up the double KO and he has to go next turn. And he still outspeeds my Landorus? Oh my lord. I get that we're scary face. Like, that's minus two. Tailwind cancels that out. He's still minus two. God dang, that thing's fast. For no reason. Thing is cooking. That thing is absolutely cooking. He's cooking. We got to bring out our two restricted mods. Dude, that speed is ridiculous, dude. Thing is flying. Thing is flying. Okay. Garatina should definitely be able to outspeed this. Tailwind. No scary face on him. He's minus two. Right? We should be able to. I got a Dynamax here. 100%. Could go into Wormwind. Could go into... I think we got to go into the Wormwind here. Wormwind's probably your best bet. Go into the Special Defense boost. I think Wormwind is our play. Or do we Shadow Sneak? I think we just Shadow Sneak. We have the Grisha Sword. I think Shadow Sneak might be able to do enough damage here. There's no much all the Calyrex. Okay, cool. I'm with it. He's going to throw out his last mod, which is going to be Zacian here. That scene is scaring me. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit, because how many turns left in Tailwind? I think Tailwind ends after this. Ooh, could be tough. Could be tough, but we're Shadow Sneaking. We're going to roll out, and then I have to just start getting Special Defense Boost on top of everything. Actually, dude, this is actually really good. Really, oh, if he ally switches, I'll cry. There's no way he ally switches. If he ally switches, I'd cry, because then our, uh, our what's called won't affect him. The dragon move. Let's see. Okay, cool. Because we have to land this on uh, Max Wormwind just to get the attack drop onto that ass. Here goes our Wormwind. Beautiful. Get off some big damage onto Rotom. Might be able to take him out too. Let's see. We do, yo. Life Orb Dialga coming in hot. Coming in hot. Big old attack drop onto that thing. I really want to go for a Quake. But what is my play here? What is my play? They, they're going to have speed once Tailwind ends. It's just tough news for us. Yep, there goes Tailwind. And I think I have to pose that threat with the Shadow Sneak onto the Calyrex, right? I just think it's an absolute must. If he protects, he protects. But I have to drop a Quake into that. He's going to Dynamax that Calyrex, right? Yeah. So Shadow Sneak's going to have to come out. got to go Shadow Sneak, Shadow Sneak, Snash, Shadow Sneak. And then into the straight up uh, Quakes here. Because Quake will be able to take you out. We'll get the special defense boost. And then we have to Shadow Sneak just to get off a little bit of damage on this thing. But Shadow Sneak should be able to do a huge chunk. Defense, defense is going to be super low. It's super effective. We got the Grisha Sword on top of it with Stab. I really like it. I really do like the Shadow Sneak. I have to get off the average. I have to get off damage on the Calyrex. Because if not, he's just going to clean sweep me. He is just going to do some work on me. Some lovely work. He might guard here, too. He might guard just to try to do some damage on my Diablo. We might just protect his ass here. Let's see what he does here. No protect comes out here. Shadow Sneak's going to poke. And god dang. The damage, yo. 
The damage is ridiculous. He's going to Phantasm over onto Garatina. Can you eat? Probably not, right? Yeah, no shot. So what we need here is my boy to just absolutely dump on this. Defense is going to drop. That's fine. This thing is special attacking. I need my I need my Diago to absolutely dump onto this Zassi. For a chance to win. He's going to go for the Behemoth Blade. It's still going to do a lot of damage. It's not very effective, but still. I mean, he is even. He doesn't have an attack boost for us, so that's still a big chunk of damage. It's still going to come really close. Still going to come really, really close. We go for the Quake here. And he's going to guard next turn. He's going to definitely guard this turn. 100% he's going to guard. Oh my god. This is going to be way too close. This is going to be way too close. Because he's going to guard this turn. If he guards this turn, he might win. Because he's going to guard this turn just to block the shot. Make my Dynamax end so I have less HP. And then he might take me out. Then he might take me out. Oh my lord. Got to go for the Wormwood here. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Yo, do not guard. Do not guard. Do not guard. He doesn't guard. Yo, eat this. Eat this. For the win, baby. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Let's go. Let's go. Our opponent. Come on, man. Come on, man. Our opponent should have guarded there. He might not even have a guard move. That might be a thing. He might not be rocking a guard move. But his play, if you guys are ever in a situation like that, remember remember the Dynamax turns. Remember how many turns they have for Dynamax. Because he could have guarded it. Taking out my Dynamax and pretty much won that game there. But there it is. 2-0 for today's video. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record. We have been on an absolute tear in Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked double battles. We're still rocking out with this off-meta team, and we're still getting wins. We're going up against a very, very strong team right here. Been seeing it a lot on the rank ladder. It's Gizassian, Kyogre with Swift Swim, Sizatone, Life Orb, Zapdos, and then he has Incineroar and Grimstarl for their support mod. So this is a real test for us. This is definitely a real test for us, but hey... We guaranteed ourselves a winning record. The only Pokemon we're not uh, showcased today is going to be Bronzemon because we haven't faced any Trick Room team. So, get them all out of here. We do not need them. We do not need them. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? I'm thinking... This is looking rough for us. I'm thinking we have to Dynamax maybe him. Could definitely be good. But everybody... Like, everyone scares me. Or we could Dynamax you. Definitely got to lead the, the Tornados. We need speed. We need we need that. We need speed all day. We might go in with that Incineroar, which I could definitely see happening. I really want to go into actually if he goes into yeah, that's fine. Um, I don't think we're gonna bring I don't think we're gonna bring the what's it called? The Garatina here. I just don't think we need it. I don't think we need it, but I like my Thunderous lead. The reason I think or the reason I'm going into Thunderous is because if he wants to lead in Cinewar, we can get that Defiant proc and kind of roll from there. But I really want to go Landers. I really want to go Landers, but at the same time, I do think he's going into Cinewar. So I swapped it. Hopefully we get that Defiant boost and just roll off. Could be really, really good for us. Could definitely be good for us. But let's see the lead. Let's see the lead. Please show me Incineroar. Show me Incineroar, dude. Do it. Do it. Do it. You won't. You will not. You will not. He did not. God dang it, man. Okay. Uh. Huh. How should I do this one? I could still Dynamax here. I could definitely, definitely still Dynamax. He has no fake out. Seismato could get that. He can't hit me with a ground move. He could hit me with a water move, but we do have a Soul Vest, which uh, could he go into anybody who can dodge a lightning? No. He does have ally switch. None of them can dodge a lightning. No, none of them are ground. So. We're going to Tailwind. Yeah, let's go Tailwind here. Do I Airstream? Do I Darkness? I think we just have to pose this threat right here, right? I think we have to pose this threat. Even though I, I'm almost certain that this thing's protecting or swapping. We have to pose this because after his tailwind, uh, we're gonna find out who's faster, Seismitoad or or Thunderous. And if that if if Thunderous is the case, I could just clear that Seismitoad to get off some big damage. But we'll see how this one plays. We shall see. Is he protecting? Please show me he's not protecting. Because again, right now Seismitoad's faster, but in tailwind, Thunderous might be faster than the Seismitoad. That's what I'm hoping. If, if that if that could be the case, we could be sitting in such a good spot. Because Tailwind compared to Swiss Wind, they'll, they'll basically cancel out. If I Tailwind and he Swiss Wind, they'll cancel out. They're both plus two on the speed. So that is great. That is great. Let's see how this one plays. He does not protect. It's lovely. That is lovely. We love it. So we can get off some huge damage. And we do outspeed. Let's go. That's huge. Later, Kyogre. Get on out my face. Get him mad here. We dump on that thing. No problem. Okay. So Seismitoad is the big threat here. He's going to keep the rain. He's going to keep rolling from here. I do not see him taking out my, uh, my Thunder in one shot, right? He can't take out my uh, Tornado in one shot. Unless he goes for like a Hail or something and Buffets come out here as well. 
and he goes for the airstream. That's totally fine by me. So he's oh, he's gonna go for speed. Okay, he's gonna go for speed here. So I can't leer anymore. Cannot leer anymore. Oh, I really want to leer and just dump on that thing, but maybe we should still do that. I'm thinking we should still do that. Thinking we should still get rid of this Pokemon. Who's he gonna go into here? So tough, super tough. I gotta slow him down. I have to slow him down. I have to slow him down for the next group. I wanted to go into the Leer so bad, but I have to ice win to slow out both these guys. It's just an absolute must. It's an absolute must. And I'll go into an airstream over onto the frog, right? Over onto this lovely little frog. <laughs> we have to hit up onto the frog, man. We have to hit up onto the frog. That's so tough. That's so tough, dude. I really just want to leer and get rid of it. Here goes the airstream. He's gonna deal some damage. Ooh, okay. I thought he was gonna take out my thunder. So I'm with that all day, because now we're just gonna start slowing you boys down. We'll start slowing him down. This thing keeps going for airstream. It's not stab. He just wants that speed boost. He just wants that speed boost. And then with this icy wind control, we're kind of, kind of just canceling out his Dynamax turns. So we go into that. My boy thunder should be going next. And now we can airstream and get another speed boost. Loving it, loving it. So we minus our speed, we plus our speed, and this is stab for us, so it can get off some big damage. Look at that. Look at that chunk of damage compared to what he did. He did he did it like a little puny amount. A little puny amount that we're not worried about. But something that we are worried about is going to be this shot right here. Leave me alone, y'all. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, dude. Get out of my face. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave, don't kill me. I love you, Thunders. I love you, dude. Look at that. Not very effective. Still doing a insanely amount of damage. So we're gonna go into here. Uh, do I just lightning? Could lightning. Could indeed lightning. I'm with it. I'm with it. I see when gonna poke. Ew. I probably should have taken out the frog, dude. We do not like the frog. We should have taken out the frog, but I don't think I have any moves to take out the frog. That's my problem. Drag this work onto us. Lightning's gonna poke through here. How much damage are we really gonna do all this thing? No way we KO, right? Yeah, we don't KO, but still, that's that's a good chunk. He's going to pick up the easy double kill. He's going to start uh, going for speed. Good thing we did Icy Wind, though. We minus our speed. We have minus our speed, and we should have another turn in Tailwind, so... I'll be cutting it close. Super, super close. Super close with Lando in the back end, who I'm just going to send EQs with freely because we have Telepathy Dialga. And then we have the Dialga over there. So, I do dig it. And EQ should be able to take both these guys out, no problem. I got to see the speed boost. I have to see what, the, what their speed's at. I have to see what their speed's at. I have to see the speeds for sure. Because uh, Seismic type might be fastest. When Tailwind ends, I'm talking about. I think we have one more turn left in, in Tailwind, which they might just protect through. Dude, we've been playing some good Sword and Shield battles, yo. If you've been enjoying the content, yo, mash that like button. Leave a like on today's video, because A, A, it really goes a long way, and B, lets me know that you guys are enjoying Sword and Shield, and I'll keep bringing you guys that content. So we're going to go in here, Intimidate's going to be huge onto that Zacian, and onto the Seismic. Seismic's physical attacking. I'm pretty sure most of them are. They rock liquidation. His Dynamax turns are over. Uh, we love it. So that's huge Intimidate. Out there. Huge Intimidate. I got to see the speeds. And I think there's one more turn left in Tailwind. Yeah, one more turn left in Tailwind. And I have to see Seismic. Seismic is only plus one on speed. That seems even. He's plus one speed. Minus one attack. We love it. We love it. So we outspeed this turn. EQ's flying freely. Flying freely. And I feel like the What's Called Pose is more of a threat here. I feel like the what's called pose is more of a threat. The Zacian, so you know what? We're just going to go after him. Zacian's just scary all around. Even though Seismic is really good. He goes for... A plus... Uh, yeah, okay, never mind. It makes sense. It makes sense. Can we take this thing out with a flash cannon? Please. Please. Wow. Wow. We, we're really going to lose this battle. That's rough. That is rough. Yeah, that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. I was going to say a plus one size was going to take me out. And then he has Swift Swim, which Swift, Swift Swim cancels out Tailwind. So basically, he's just plus one speed up against my landers and does work on me. Okay. I see this. Um, Size Potato has to go. So what is it? A 2v1? He's going to fake me out. We, we, we know that all day. We know that all day. He's just going to fake me out. Oh, user can't move next turn after that. So, you know, we're just going to Earth Power here. God dang, dude. He's going to fake me out. He's going to do a big old ground move onto me. Leave me alone, dude. Only if I had protect. There's fake out. Ground move's going to come in hot. Stomping tantrum. Stomping tantrum. Going to lower the speed as well. 
Ouch. Ouchie. Okay. We flinch. We can't move. What is the play here? Swift Swim's gone. He's still faster than me, though. Plus one. Actually, he might not be. What's my player? I have to take out the what's called, right? I have to take out the size platoon. Or we could... No, uh, there's, there's no way we're winning this battle, right? There's no way we're winning this battle. This one's over with, right? Unless he misses an attack. That could be huge for us. Stop attention comes through. He connects. He just outspeeds me straight up. And we're dead, right? And we're dead. There it is. Our loss for today's video. But still, yo, solid video all around. Definitely solid video all around. Speed control was definitely a huge factor. Him going into those uh, three airstreams really did him good. The size potato just came up, cleaned up, and won him the battle. Great set of battles for today's video, getting ourselves a winning record with this amazing off meta Garatina and Lifeform Diablo team. I absolutely loved it all around. You had Pokemon that could dodge EQs left and right. We have Flying Tights, Levitate Pokemon, everything around there. We have Telepathy on Dialga. It was just super, super cool to use it. The only thing I wish we would have done is got laners out there a little bit more and uh, use some more EQs. With them. I don't even think we used one EQ. Actually, we might have used like one. We might have used like one, but I really wish we would have been able to get them out there more and use them. But I feel like people just had a lot of water Pokemon or Pokemon that could just dump on them like Weavile and all that good stuff. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.